to the footage just to go over the items that you've sent me uh, first of all you look fantastic through the golf ball as I said on my emails I think you, look, you must be hitting it further I mean, it's a fabulous move through the ball compared to what you were making a few weeks ago um, if we look at it first and face on super set up position textbook that good wide one piece takeaway super first move away there everything moving away good resistance with the lower body as we get to the top, beautiful full shoulder turn, getting behind the ball. We're good to go at that point. Unfortunately, the shaft gets a little bit long, so we still need to work on making that a little bit more solid. That's going to lead to a little bit of a sort of shot that's lost out to the right in time. We don't want that shaft travelling too far. So the arm swings a little bit excessive going back. The feeling that you should have really is if you look at your hands in that position, to the right of your head, so to the side of you. As you continue on in the swing, the arms get too close or the hands get too close into your head and push you over. You just see a little bit of a tilt onto your left side there, which could cause you to get ahead of it. On this one, you don't. You stay behind it beautifully. That's world class though. That's fantastic. And then a great extension through the ball. Much better release than you used to get. So that's really, really good. From that view, we just need to get a feeling that the top of the back swing finishes there. We're going to keep the hands to the right of us as we get to the top of the back swing. If we look a little, a little bit more about your laid off position, I've just compared you here to Tiger, you see a lot of similarities in setup. First move away from the ball, much better than when we played the other day. You can see there that the club head is staying much more in front of your hands. It's not getting flipped behind you like it was doing when we had the knock at Birdie the other week. Compare that to what we see here with Tiger, very, very similar position. As I said before, textbook, absolutely fantastic at this point. What I want to pay particular attention to here is what Tiger does next. Tiger's club and arms tend to work up for the remainder of his swing. So there's, from that position on now, the arms work up. You can see he's a little bit shorter in the shaft than you are, but we're going to work more on that move. There. The arms have got to work up. So from the takeaway in that position, the body continues to turn, but the left arm works up as he goes back. And that's Tiger swinging on his best. Makes a nice early turn, maintains his width, and then the left arm now works up as his body turns. What we're seeing with yourself, put the same line on. We're seeing a left arm that instead of working up, works across your chest a little bit too much. You can see there that instead of working up that line that we're seeing with Tiger, we're working across the chest. Now, yes, you're longer in the shaft though. You sort of lift the club onto plane, which does not matter. But from that position on now, we need to get the feeling that the left arm is working up rather than across the chest. If you were to get that left arm working up rather than across the chest, There'll be less forearm rotation and the club would certainly be less laid off. Everything would be much more, if we put that on to illustrate your left arm, left arm position, shaft position, very, very similar to what you're seeing there with Tiger, simply by getting the left arm to work up once you've completed your takeaway. You've still got to complete your shoulder turn though, don't sacrifice that. Overall though, Mike, great footage, fabulous swing and I'm sure you're going to have a good season now that the exams are out of the way. Good luck mate, keep me posted, well done.